Okay, we're back with Maya for the second part, second outfit. So I just wanted to ask you which one of your track, in your opinion, makes the people go crazy when you're gigging? Um, it wouldn't be my choice, but I guess what they say, just yeah. because, I mean, I'm pretty sick of saying that actually now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, um, it beyond my control, that was like the track that sort of got people into my music. Like, mm -hmm. So, uh, well, got a lot of people into my music that had never heard of me before, and um, that was the one that just happened to blow up. So, make even the break on the ice that is you. Made, so, I guess yeah. that's the track that most people recognise. Yeah, out of my music. Cool. So. cool. Okay. So you, you're still working on the album, that's not going to be out until next year? Yeah, yeah. Okay, definitely. so is that going to be next like, um, um, There's no set date yet, but like, it will be sort of the first probably quarter of next year. Um, but like, it's going to be, it, it's gonna, it's a lot of work still to go into it, because right. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> and like, and because like, it's definitely my most important project to date, and like, everything's got to be... Right. It's got to be right, yeah. yeah. What label is your album going to come out on? Um, I haven't decided that I haven't yet. decided, yeah, right. Decided. See, that's, that's the best way, isn't it? I bet, I bet um, there's loads of people saying, come here, come here, bring it to me, bring it to me. Yeah, I, I don't think, like, for me, it's not really, it, it, it was never right to decide on, like, I had a lot of offers from, like, last year and stuff, yeah. and um, until, like, the project's nearly finished, I don't really want to tie myself down to a certain yeah. label because, um, you gotta make sure it's right it, for you. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. like I don't wanna, I don't wanna release it through something that's gonna like limit my audience as well. So of course, um, it's like yeah, it's gonna be quite a big decision who to go with. Okay, yeah, because I mean you've had a lot, you've had so much support. I mean, just from the, uh, besides the people uh, that buy your music, um, I was talking to Anya Schneider last year, and she, she, I mean, this is before what they say, before that came out, and she said that. You want to look out for this girl, so she's been supporting you yeah, big time, yeah. big time. So. Yeah, yeah. I must be feel really good to obviously have um, people, up, you know, like Anna Schneider and stuff that are supporting you that much. Yeah, they're not, oh, they're it's not just saying I support like, your music, but they're, you know, they're really behind you and yeah. saying this girl is amazing. She's, you know, it's really good, great girl. She's got good music coming out. So I mean, that's a great help for you, really. Yeah, definitely. Like for me to like. Initially, when I started getting the support of all these DJs and producers that like I've always looked up to, and sort yeah. of they've been an inspiration to me, so to get that support back from them is like yeah. such a nice feeling. It's better than money, isn't it? Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. definitely. It is for sure. Yeah. And how about your future? How do you see yourself in ten years? Say ten years. Um, like I'll definitely still be making music. Yeah. Um, that's like I, I don't think I'll ever stop making music. For me, my aim, like um, at the moment, it's like people. Uh, well, not everyone, but a lot of people see me as just a house music producer, and like I've got a lot more to show, a lot more to yeah. give than that. So, like especially when my album comes out, because it's not a house album. It's just like. It's music that. It's a concept like, album that you can go. You can um, use. it's just music that's like true to me. That like, like has no sort of genre boundaries, boundaries no right limitations, no like. It's complete. It's, it's complete, just like yeah. it's just music that comes out without thinking. Right, this right. is. I'm gonna make a track of this kind of genre or whatever. So. Um, and like eventually, like I'm starting to produce for other people as well. Like I want to get more into producing for other bands and stuff. And yeah, in the nice. long run, like I don't, I just want to, like have no limits to what kind of like. To what you're doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like I, just want to fly. I like writing fly. music. Yeah. I like producing music. That's what I want to do. Not like just in the dance scene or yeah. whatever. So. Uh, you've got any? I mean, you just had an EP out yesterday. What's your next? What's the next EP that you've got coming out? Um, I don't actually have a set, like for me now I'm just focusing on the album, yeah. so I don't have anything set in stone. You've got nothing but, programmed at the moment, no. yeah. Um, so you're just touring at the moment, um, Yeah, that's, that's like It's hard to sort of fight, balance like the touring and the studio time and then stuff like this. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's just, just like, juggling. Yeah, um, but yeah, album and then I've got another release. I'll be doing another EP on Hypercolor and yeah. Dogmatic, which right, are like okay. sort of two of the like house labels that I'll continue to do stuff, do stuff with. But yeah. Um, yeah, nothing else since then. Cool. I think it's pretty much shocking. It's quite nice being free right now to just like work on what I want to work yeah, and not have to plan. Exactly, to plan anything. Yeah. yeah.
And while you start your parallel project, like uh, She's Danger or Nocturnal Sunshine, mm -hmm. what, what's what that? about what? that? Um, yeah, they're, I mean, the, they're both, like She is Danger isn't dead, like it, it's still an still ongoing project, on, yeah? but um, at the moment, like me and Nina are sort of focusing more on our solo stuff, and um, I think when there's more time, um, we'll get back to finishing the album Together. and releasing it and stuff. Okay. But at the moment, it's sort of um, on hold for a bit. Okay, and how about your dubstep? The dubstep stuff, like, that's always just been like a small side project and if I happen to make sort of a track that fits under that, then I, it will come out. But um, it's never been like my sort of main focus. Main focus. So, um, yeah, that's an, again an ongoing thing. So, are you remixing some one at the moment? Um, yeah, I just um, just finished remixes for Tricky and Little Dragon, um, okay. but, like which I'm really really excited about. Yeah. Um, like they're sort of two artists that I re really love their music, and um, also it's quite nice to be doing remixing stuff outside of the house. So, so now, uh, what forthcoming gigs have you got coming up next few months? Um, oh, the ones I'm really excited about, Gastonbury, um, yeah. and then Panorama Bar as well. That's going to be massive. Um, have you done Panorama yet? No, it's going to be the first oh, God, time. Yeah, and then yeah. I've got my first Fabric um, main room gig as well, and sort of after the summer. Nice. And what else? Exit Festival is going to be good. Exit, you're right, Exit, okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's like, that, it's like, Summer's packed full of like, exciting Cool, yeah, you got some gigs coming, good gigs coming up. Um, oh yeah, also you're playing up East already. Yeah, um, just played actually for Kea Kuma opening at Space um, what was a couple like? of weeks ago. That was really awesome, good, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll be back there next month as well. If you were stuck on a desert island and you had to take three famous people with you, who would they, who <laughs> would they be do. and why? Three famous people. Yeah, okay. they could be dead or alive. Um... Stop the camera, cause like, that's making me, <laughs> that's fucking my thoughts. <laughs> okay, I'll say Joan Mitchell. Okay. Joan Mitchell. Yeah. And... Um, Joan Jackson, no. <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. Yeah. I think I'd start Love a band with Joni Mitchell, Jimi Hendrix. All right. And one more person. Who could make a really good band? <laughs> um, No, some and then something completely it's different. different. Bring that. Okay. So maybe, maybe someone like Run DMC. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. cool. That would be a different band with, with Andy Dennis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On it. Check this out, my Edging Colt. <laughs>